Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Videotech Innovation Awards. And here is your host, Stuart Thompson. A very warm welcome to the second annual Videotech Innovation Awards. I'm Stuart Thompson. I'm the editor of Digital TV Europe. Thanks for tuning in. It's all a bit different this year as everything in our lives is, is really a bit different. And it's a year that certainly highlighted the importance of video, both as a means of communication and also as a source of distraction and entertainment in difficult times. And we're very excited to be here with you virtually to celebrate those who are at the heart of transforming today's global video industry. I think it's worth remarking that it's also been a year that's been uniquely challenging for the industry's innovators and that they've risen to that challenge. And we can see that from the quality and ingenuity of the technologies that we're celebrating today. So before we begin, I'd like to thank our judges who will be helping me present the awards today. And without their dedication and the time they spent studying the submissions, there would be no awards. I know they were very impressed with the quality and the breadth of the awards. And as was the case last year, there will be a number of close results in, in this award. As always, not everyone will be a winner, but in any case, reaching the shortlist is an achievement in itself. And so let's begin. To kick off, I'm gonna hand over to one of our judging panel, Steve Hawley, Principal Analyst and Consultant at Advanced Media Strategies. Thank you, Stuart. The first award is for Advanced TV Innovation of the Year, and the nominations are V-Access Orca for V-Access Orca Dynamic Watermarking, Yerdetto for AppWatch and AppWatch Insights, VIEW for VIEW, TiVo for TiVo Insight, Aceto for Aceto One, Access Europe for Access Twine for Car, and the winner is Yerdetto for AppWatch and AppWatch Insights. Congratulations. And now over to Alexei Petrovsky, GCore Labs, Head of Streaming Platforms for the next category, which is Cloud Service Innovation of the Year. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And our second category is the award uh, for Cloud Service Innovation of the Year. And the nominations are Irdetto uh, for Irdetto Trace Mark for Distribution, Own Zones Entertainment Technologies for Our Zones Connect, and Harmonic for BOS 360 live streaming platform. And we have a tie and two joint winners who are. Irdeto for Irdeto Trace Mark for distribution and Harmonic for VOS 360 live streaming platform. Congratulations to you both. Okay, now back to the panel of judges to announce more winners. Handing over to Matthew Huntington, director of product at Archiva. Thanks, Alexi. The next category is Next Gen Advertising Award. And the nominations for this are Adways and Sublime for in-video advertising, ViaAccess Orca for ViaAccess Orca targeted TV advertising solution, MediaKind for Prisma, Samsung Ads Europe for Samsung Ads, Cinemedia for Cinemedia Iris, StreamHub for Activate, and United Cloud for Vida. And the winner is Cinemedia for Iris. Congratulations. I now hand over to Elliot Seller, Group Head of TV Product Experiences at Sky, to present the TV App Technology of the Year Award. Over to you, Elliot. Thank you, Matthew. And the nominees are Better Software Group for The Better, United Cloud for Eon, TiVo for TiVo Stream 4K, Digital Entertainment Club, DCTV.TV for DCTV.TV. This was a hotly contested award and we have a tie with two joint winners. So congratulations to Better Software Group for the Better and TiVo for TiVo Stream 4K. Congratulations. Now over to Richard Waghorn, CTO at RTE to present the OTT TV Technology of the Year Award. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. And the nominees are Soft at Home for Multicast ABR by Soft at Home, Own Zones Entertainment Technologies for Own Zones Discover, Harmonic 
for VOS 360 live streaming platform. Broadpeak for S4 streaming. Acido for Acido One. Wild Mocha for Auto Rezone. And finally, Limelight Networks for real-time streaming. So good luck to everybody. And I can reveal that the winner is Harmonic for VOS 360 live streaming platform. Congratulations to the team at Harmonic on a well-deserved win. And now I'll hand you over to my fellow judge, Maria Rua Aguete from Informer's analyst powerhouse, Omdia, for the next award, the UX Award. Thank you, Richard. And the nominations for UX Award are Subware Envy for A1 Explore TV, deployed by Subware for A1 Group, United Cloud for Aeon, Bion Labs for Personal Mood Channels, powered by Bion Labs Emotional Data Framework, Tivo for Tivo Stream 4K. And the winner is Bion Labs for Personal Mood Channels, powered by Bion Labs Emotional Data Framework. Back to you, Stuart, for our next award. Thank you, Maria. We now come to the first of our individual awards, the Video Technologist of the Year Award. This goes to an individual who's made a unique contribution to video delivery technology. Now, over the course of his 20 plus year career, this year's winner has led the charge for better quality of experience and efficient video delivery as the co-inventor of several patented and award-winning, Emmy award-winning technologies. He played a pivotal role in the development of MPEG-2 protocol testing and monitoring solutions that received two Emmy Awards in 1999 and 2007. Since then, he and the company he co-founded have developed, among other things, multicast adaptive bitrate technology that's now widely recognized and used across the industry. More recently, that technology has been applied successfully to tackle latency, which, as we all know, is one of the, the key challenges facing people involved in the live video streaming revolution that's been going on. So, the winner of this year's Video Technologist of the Year Award is Jacques Lemont, President and CEO of Broadpeak. Hi everyone, my name is Jacques Lemont and I am the CEO of Broadpeak. I'm very proud to receive today the Video Strategist of the Year Award. I would like to thank the judges and Informa for allowing our industry to come together despite of the pandemic. I also can't help thinking about our special friend Guter from Parga in Israel, who won the award last year. One more occasion to share a drink with you, Guter. Finally, I'd like to thank all our employees at Brad Peak who truly live by innovation. This year, we're celebrating our 10th birthday and innovation has been our core value from the start. But a good idea is not enough. It requires a perfect execution. And I'm so proud of what our teams have achieved in the last decade. It's actually in 2011 that we came with this idea of multicast ABR with our nano CDN. I remember we were very bold because there were 100 reasons for it not to work at the time. But our teams kept on believing and made it what it is today. The top item on service providers agenda when it comes to deliver content people love with the company experience. With over 15 different deployments and 50 ongoing trials, this nano CDN seems to be the missing link operators have been looking for to evolve from IPTV operators to super aggregators. So thanks again, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all in person as soon as our life goes back to normal. Be safe and see you soon. Fantastic, congratulations, Jack. Um, you've enjoyed tremendous success with Broadbeak and it's a very well-deserved award. We're now going to hand over to David Price, who's principal at Scala Advisors to present the next award, which is the Advanced TV Service of the Year Award. David. Thank you, Stuart, and good to virtually meet you again. The nominations are Soft at Home for full RDKV based solutions with Soft at Home, NetGem UK Limited for Origin TV, allowing ISPs to have their cake and eat it on branded TV services, Zapware NV for A1 Explore TV deployed by Zapware, and last but no means least, 
United Cloud for EON. And the winner is Zapware and Viva, A1 Explore TV, deployed by Zapware. Now over to Paul Robertson, media consultant, creative media partners for our next award, live streaming initiative of the year. Thank you. Thank you, David. And the nominations are G Core Labs SA for G Core Labs streaming platform, Cinemedia for Cinemedia low latency solution with fast channel changing, Touchstream for virtual knock, Verizon Media for Verizon Media Platform for the Super Bowl Live 2020, Wild Mocha for Auto Rezone, and Zone Oi for Burst Live by Zone JVG Live Virtual Concert in Helsinki's Digital Twin with Avatar Interaction during the pandemic. And the winner is Cinemedia for their low latency solution with fast channel changing. Congratulations to Cinemedia on your second win today. And I'll hand you to Will Ennett, the Head of TV Content at TalkTalk, Talk, for our next award, the Sustainability Award. Thank you, Paul, and congratulations to the winners so far. The nominations for the Sustainability Award are Edetto for Sustainability, Liberty Global for Mini TV Box, Rhoda and Schwartz for Transmitter Products, especially associated with the US Repack Initiative. News Tag for Infinite Heart and Blackbird for Green Technology. And the winner of the Sustainability Award is Liberty Global for Mini TV Box. Congratulations. And now to Emily Dubs, Head of Technology at DVB Project Office for the next set of awards. Thank you, Will. Now, let's focus on the Innovation and Ingenuity Award. For this category, the nominees are Smart Labs for Smart Care, Mediakind for Mediakind and Partners Deliver the Virtual Chattanooga Film Festival, ITN Productions for Royal Documentaries, NextGem UK Limited for Safe at Home Avenue on NextGem TV, keeping Britain entertained during the COVID-19 lockdown, and Axonista for Fashion Relief TV powered by Ediflow. We have a very clear winner for this category, which is ITN Productions for Royal Documentaries. Indeed, this entry highlighted a swift response to broadcast pain points during the pandemic, turning hurdles into new opportunities. I am sure this ingenuity here will survive the lockdown and empower new ways of conducting interviews in the post-crisis context. So congratulations! And now, over to my fellow judge, Matt Stagg, Director of Mobile Strategy at BT Sport for the AI and Machine Learning Innovation of the Year. Thank you, Emily. And the nominations are MediaKind for Machine Learning for Advanced Up Conversion of Library Content, Ozone's Entertainment Technologies for Ozone's Deep Analysis, Intera Systems for Baton Captions, Nagra for Nagra Insight, Wild Mocha for Auto Rezone. And the winner is Nagra for Nagra Insight. Congratulations. I will now hand you over to Dan Simmons from Informa's Analyst House, Omdia, for our next category, Hybrid Video Innovation of the Year. Thank you, Matt, and greetings, viewers. The nominees for Hybrid Video Innovation of the Year are Harmonic for VOS360 Channel Origination and Distribution Platform, Veramatrix for VCAS5 for DVB, and Easy Broadcast for Easy Broadcast Viewer Assisted Delivery Technology. And the winner is Harmonic for VOS360 Channel Origination and Distribution Platform. Huge congratulations to Harmonic, especially as this is the third prize they've won today. Up next is the penultimate award, the Pay TV Service Innovation of the Year. So over to Yvonne Thomas, Strategic Technologist at DTG. Thank you, Dan. And here are the nominations. United Cloud for Eon, Feud Software and Edge Networks for Evoca, Hot First TB Survey Application, Viacom and the Bulgarian telecommunications company EAD 
for the implementation of HTVC codec and the Brownfield IPTV platform. And at Gem UK Limited, for the smart conversations as personalized messaging to consumers enabled for internet providers through the NetGem TV interface. And now the winner. Congratulations to Viacom for the implementation of ATVC Codec and Brownfield PTV platform. Well done, guys. And back over to Stuart, who will present the big one, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Over to you, Stuart. Thank you, Yvonne. We now come to the final award of this evening and the second of our individual awards, the Lifetime Achievement Award, which recognizes the rare distinction of delivering, inspiring or executing innovation time and again over the course of an entire career. The winner this year has launched numerous high-tech products to the global marketplace, specializing in digital security and anti-piracy, working with government agencies, global banks, Fortune 500 companies and major Hollywood studios. He's an expert in the field of security and a highly regarded featured speaker at many global digital security conferences. He's also been a driving force of success in a company that has led a revolution in the way content revenue is secured and protected over the last two decades. The winner of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award is Steve Ottigen, President of Verimatrix. When I was informed that I had been shortlisted for this award, I thought, there are so many great people that have achieved so much in our industry. This is really going to be a long shot. Well, thank you so much to the organizers and judges of the Videotech Innovation Awards program. I am truly honored and humbled. But this isn't just about one person's achievements. It's about teamwork, perseverance, and what I call the can-do attitude. We bet the farm on disruptive technology and had the good fortune to ride a wave of innovation that truly changed the industry. I really want to take this opportunity to thank those that have been most instrumental in my career and their role in building such an enduring and successful company. There are so many of you that it would be impossible to name you all here, but you all know who you are. This is a testament to the value of teamwork. This award is not just about me, but rather how I was part of the team that made Verimatrix the thriving company that it remains today. In particular, thank you to my wife and family for believing in our success and enduring my crazy travel schedules. I feel that I gained more from this industry than the industry gained from me. I have forged many relationships over the years with many of whom I consider personal friends and I will be forever grateful for this experience. Thank you for this recognition. It is truly appreciated. Congratulations, Steve. A very worthy winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award. And that was the final award. It leaves me to thank you for joining us today to share in our celebration of achievement and innovation and to thank our judges for their time and the work they put into making this possible. And also to thank and congratulate once again our winners and all the companies who entered the awards. Thank you and goodbye.